Okay, uh, so let's start because it's um, very late and the last day of uh, another summit. So I assume we have less people, and especially given recently, you know, products like like Zucker and other small products are losing results and focus attention. So yeah, it makes sense. So firstly, um, I'm I'm Felon Felon Wang. I worked for um, Docker for I think years, uh, but to be honest, last cycle, the rocky cycle, I was not really active. Um, I was working on Magnum and Kubernetes stuff, but I think I know very much for for, for Docker. So I know the the work uh, the team has done for last release. Uh, just in case you are in the restroom, Docker is a messaging service of OpenStack. And uh, for now, I'm still thinking like the service like Docker, um, Designate, or Chow, those services are still very important service for S layer because you have done a lot of things on top of Kubernetes, but you still want to get some um, service like messaging service or database service from the S layer. You don't want to maintain um, a messaging service on your Kubernetes cluster because it doesn't make sense. So, um, Currently, Docker can support a um, multi multi tenant. That's for sure, and uh, you can consume the 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 queue service or the notification service from um, where the the RESTful API, uh, and it has a very good, uh, very simple architecture. Currently, it can support both uh, notification service and the the queue service. So you can find the same thing on, um, on AWS for SQS and SNS. But you can, I think you can only see um, the pops up uh, the notification service on, on Google Cloud. On, on either, I think it's just named message bus or something like that, but it's very similar. So this is uh, the, the architecture of Docker. So there is a, a transport layer. Currently, the transport is just a, an HTTP implementation. And um, on top of that, it can support WebSocket and uh, Whiskey. So with WebSocket, you can just get you know, better performance. Uh, compared with um, the, the traditional whiskey HTTP um, approach. And for backend, currently we can support um, MongoDB, the, the uh, very stable um, backend, and uh, Redis. And uh, if you don't want to use any in memory uh, database, you can just use Swift. So for the feature and uh, enhancements we have done in Rocky is um, firstly, we can support different uh, format for client ID. So when you use, um, when user use uh, uh, Docker to consume the message from a queue, as a client, you have to specify your client ID to different yourself uh, with all the other client. So for the client ID, as before, we can only use um, a traditional UUID, but currently you can use a different format. But you have to limit it as um, the minimum uh, characters and the maximum characters in the, in the configuration file. And uh, currently we can support the queue filter when listing uh, the, the queue. And uh, and the checksum and the checksum function for my, for message body for better security. Uh, and uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, we add three new reserved uh, metadata in Q uh, response body. That's for um, dead letter Q, and um, I can't remember the other two. But uh, those feature has been done before, but we just need to uh, add those um, metadata in this release. And uh, the last one is send uh, email subscription by Zucker, because currently the only driver we can support for notification is send email. We can support like um, uh, SMS or the other uh, mobile notification because resource and yeah, whatever reasons. As before, we just use a third party um, command line to send the, um, the email, but now we are just using uh, Python uh, built-in uh, email send, uh, sending lib to send the subscription. So <clears throat> for Stan, we do have some uh, things we would like to do. The first one, actually those things are on the list for quite a long time. The first one is um, we would like to introduce uh, the topic as a um, uh, first class standalone resource for notification because currently notification, the notification service is, um, is fully tatted with uh, the, the queue, the queue service. We would like to uh, just like uh, SQS and SNS, we would like to have a separated first class uh, resource named topic just for notification. So when you want to subscribe, currently you have to subscribe a queue, but actually the queue is just a name. We would like to give it um, a topic. So when you want to receive a notification, you want to receive the notification from a topic, you subscribe, not a, a, a queue. And another feature we would like to do is um, delete a message with claim ID. The claim ID, if you don't understand um, the, the mechanism of Zucker, the, the, the claim ID is really like a, a, a handler for the message you just claimed. So for example, when there is uh, many clients uh, listening a queue, client A just grab the, the, the message from the queue and just means claim, I'm claiming the, the message. Uh, with that case, the client B can't claim the message. So currently, we would like to support uh, a feature user can use the, the claim ID to delete the message instead of um, just delete the message by the message uh, ID or the queue. So it's a, it's a very good, very important uh, feature we want to do. And another one is remove the, the pool group totally. Currently the pool group is, is useless and we would like to remove it as soon as possible. I think things last to release. Hopefully we can get it done. Uh, and another one is um, the queue metadata. Just like uh, the other service in OpenStack, uh, in Docker we are using um, a very complicated, uh, not very complicated, it's very flat JSON dict to store the, the queue metadata, but we are adding more and more new features into Docker. So that metadata, that uh, flight, very flight uh, uh, JSON is getting complicated because for example, you have to add, for one feature, you may have to add a many uh, key for that feature. So it's getting messed. So that the one we would like to, uh, to introduce probably another resource, a dedicated resource to store the, the queue metadata. So first then, uh, it's wrong order. So that's the, so the basically the, the focus for, for Rocky. I think currently we're still focused on the, uh, the scalability 
and the user experience. And um, to be honest, we're still trying to get more adoption. As far as, far as I know, currently there is only one um, customer in China named uh, Qinghua, Qinghua Tongfang. They're using uh, Docker as um, a notification service. And Rackspace deployed a very, very old Docker version, but I don't think they're using it anymore, so yeah. So that's it. I, I don't know why you guys are here to, to join this session, but just in case, um, I think just like most of the other small service in the in the open source community, Docker needs some help and needs some um, more adoptions for Docker to to help Docker improve. So it's yeah, like we have discussed many times in the in the mailing list. It's just like a, a chicken egg problem, missing missing adoption. So we're missing. Um, you know, feedback, and without feedback, we can't get it um, better. If it's not good, no adoption. So, yeah, I think that's all. Any questions? No.